Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you that how you can use canva.com in order to make an interactive worksheet. First I will be going to my Google Chrome and I have written canva.com on the URL and I just pressed enter. Once you will do this, you will see this Canva website. Okay, you have to sign up first. If you don't have an account on Canva, just sign up. And if you have already signed up, then you will see this window here. And what you have to do, you can design so many things on Canva. Like you can make worksheets, presentations, videos, Instagram posts. You can make flyers, posters, docu documents, logo, resume, Facebook post. There is a lot and lot of options for you to design on Canva. Here in this video, I will be helping you to make a simple worksheet for students like kids. Uh, for kindergarten, for grade one, twos, like simple worksheets that can help them to learn faster. So let me quickly tell you that you can go to this more option here. And in the more option, you can just simply scroll and you will be finding out this worksheet A4 portrait. This is what you have to select for creating that this is going to be an A4 size paper. And what you have to do first, you will be there are some templates. If you see on your left hand side in the design button, there are some predefined temp templates that you can use and you can modify them according to your own choice. What I want, I want my own design. So what I will do, first of all, I will be using elements here. OK. The first thing about uh, my worksheet is I will be changing the background. I want to make it a different color. So I will go here, look at this rainbow color at the top. First, you have to select this worksheet and then go to here, uh, the background color at the top. Then you, let's suppose, select orange color. Okay, it looks good. Now, what you will do, the second thing, go to element, go to shapes here and select a nice shape. So, okay. I want this shape to be white so that all of my elements will be visible. So make it white and then expand it in such a way that the orange background will become your border. This is how you can make a simple border to your worksheet. Okay, once you are done with this, then you can go to the text and you can select your favorite text and just make a size big from here. Look at the top. Here, I will make the size big and what, look at here, canvas, Canva allows you so many font styles to be used. So it's up to you which font you like. I will do this one. This looks good for students, like for children, kids. So I will just write down name. There are two things that you can um, just make. Just add into your worksheet the first one is the name where the student will be able to write down his or her name and the second thing is date so i will insert i will just copy this element copy paste and then i will just change the name into date just change it into date quickly and then just put it at a right position and if you think that it is big so you can simply change its size make it a small okay so it will be easily adjusted into your okay make the size same it is 26 make it 26 for date as well and then adjust it in your worksheet like this we align this name and date and next you have to do just uh, make a heading to give a heading to your um, worksheet. So for this, I can simply change. I will add um, a text box. And the text box is just added at the down. So I will make it placed upward. And then I will change it like parts of a computer. Let's make a worksheet parts of a computer let's just give it a name and then the size must be bigger and we can make it bold and just simply make it a little up and what you can do 
just keep it like this parts of a computer now what you can do you can simply go to the elements and you can start searching for the different parts of computer let me quickly search for monitor it's better to use different graphics in your worksheets so go to graphics here and just select a monitor that is let's suppose uh, okay this one is nice but it doesn't seems clear in my worksheet so i can simply add something colorful okay you can search more 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 okay this one i think it is also a little light oh it's difficult for us to select something that will suit on this specific worksheet so let me just search a little bit okay mm, you need to be very clear about what will look good okay let's just simply do this one uh -uh, it doesn't look good control z okay let's just make it simple let's do this one okay this is going to be a monitor okay let's make it a black and white worksheet so after monitor let me choose mouse for mouse <laughs> look at the cute mouse here but i need a mouse something like this this is my uh, mouse next i'll select keyboard okay then i can select a keyboard like um, let me select something quickly let's um okay K K K K K. Let's let's select this one. I am just selecting uh, black and white, so it will suit my worksheet because all of the colors are black and white. And next, after keyboard, I will select um, CPU, the processor. So let's select a CPU that is black and white, of course. So. Okay, okay, okay. We can have different choices here. We can simply choose something. Okay, this one is nice. Okay, let's just add this into our worksheet. So now what I will be doing on the other side, I will be writing the names of all of these parts and then I will allow the student to match it so for that what i will do i will again go and i will add a text box in the text box i will be writing monitor monitor and i will make it a little big so it will be easily visible and then i will place it somewhere here so the student has to match it copy paste you can paste it and you can put it here and you can change it to mouse and then you can again copy paste the same text box and you can just change it into keyboard okay next copy paste and then you can make it here and just change it into c P U. Okay, the thing that is missing here is the question that how the student will know that what to do. So for that reason, you have to add a question into your worksheet. So le let me just quickly do that. Okay, what I want to do, I want to make the size a little bit big for these elements. It can be 28. So it will be visible to the student okay it will be very useful worksheet for grade ones okay cpu keyboard monitor mouse and the student has to match it now the thing that is missing is the question so add another text box here and 
you can simply write down match parts of the computer with its name just write down match parts of a computer with the names or you can just make the size a little bit big for this question and simply you can adjust the question somewhere in the center okay here and let's make it a little bit bigger for the kids to understand that's it this is how you can design a simple worksheet on Canva and in order to make it a little colorful you can just add some pencils at the uh, bottom pencils or you can simply oh this one is nice but yeah this one you can simply add some graphics like this so that it will look good it will look like a worksheet interactive worksheet so this is how you can make a simple worksheet on canva now you have to go to the share in order to download that and here you can see download option right over here down and then either you want pdf you want the um, jpg format png format you can simply do that i will like jpg format i will download it and then i will be showing you the actual worksheet how it will look like so it is downloaded let me quickly open it okay so here we go this is the worksheet i designed in just few minutes this is how you can work on canva stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel bye bye